Hi, Kinder friends. Let me ask you a little question before we get started today. Do you ever like to have like scrambled eggs and pancakes for dinner? You thought I was gonna say for breakfast, huh? No, 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 they're really good and it's, eggs are really nutritious. You could have that in the evening. Some people like to have steak in the morning, not in the evening, right? So this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I found this really amazing song, but it's a lullaby. It's like a nighttime song. Start your day with it, right? Don't you think that's still okay? Start your day with a song. Start your day with a lullaby and wait till you hear the song. It's amazing and you're really gonna like it. So make sure you click here to start your day with an amazing song. That's a little topsy-turvy if you know what I mean. And then once you're done listening to that song, I want you to sit down with your grown, grown up because it's time for your social skills check-in, right? So remember, we're talking about resolving conflict and there's different ways. The best way to resolve conflict is to talk things out, right? You know that you're not supposed to always get your way, right? That relationships have a give and take. So sit down with your grown up and see if you can get some little hearts inside that little grid. Um, I bet you're doing great in it because we know you and how kind and how amazing you are and how easygoing you can be, right? Um, and then think about if there's ever a time during the week when you've got kind of mad and you have felt in the red and maybe you got some personal space, maybe you went to your room, you found a special spot outdoors maybe, and then when you were calm, you went back and then you talked it over. Okay, um, then let's talk about word work. You know, Miss Lab, Miss Lazine and I were thinking you're looking like first graders. So some more first grade work. So I want you to do this. I want you to think about how to get the long A sound. In other words, how do you get A to say its name? Now we all know that A's are superstars, right? All the vowels are superstars. And sometimes they say, I'm a superstar. I'll say whatever I want. Sometimes A says its name for no reason at all, right? So A can say, just plain old A can say A ah, or A. Sometimes A says its name in words, but sometimes it's part of a chunk, right? A combination of vowels. So if it's at the end of a word, how do you get long A? Like today, stay, no way. Okay, say it right now. Did you say A-Y? Awesome, that's it. And what if, if it's in the middle of a word? Think with your bray a a a a n how to get the long A sound when it's in the middle of a word. Yes, exactly, A-I. So here are some ways. Sometimes A says its name because it feels like it. Sometimes it's bossed, right? By the bossy E, like in the word make. Here's a Y chunk, remember that goes at the end of words. Um, and then here's a I in the middle. So for word work today, listen to the video. There's a really cool video. And then if you want, you don't have to do this because there's other writing to do today. But if you want, you could make a list of some of those words and then make your own sentence, make your own creation. That'd be really fun. Math, okay, so this is an important math lesson. So today you're gonna um, turn to your packet, your math packet, and you are going to look for page 21, which is story problems. And the teacher says, I want you to listen to my words and think about what they're asking for, and then draw pictures and write an equation to go along with it. So you'll do that lesson today for math. Reading, Raz kids, you know what I'm about to do, right? Psst. Because they are so on fire. I mean, I gave three awards today for reading, and the kids were reading like 15 hours, 50 books. It's because you, friends, have become avid readers. You have discovered the power and the magic of reading. I don't know if you know this, but every single movie starts as a book. Starts as a book. Someone reads the book and says, wow, this would be a really great movie. So a lot of people, sorry, just get, got interrupted. That was my son. I pushed decline 
but it stopped the video. The movie and book. So every movie starts as a book. Everyone who reads a book and then watches the movie, I've never heard one person to say, oh, the movie was way better than the book. The book is always better. And why? It's because you can use your imagination. There's so much more details. There's so much more to it. So keep reading. We're so proud of you. You truly are becoming avid readers. With writing, there's no one watching you, right? We're going to do another secret message. That message that Miss Lab said, shh, make sure there's no grown-ups around and then click here. We're going to do another one of those secret writing assignments. Don't It's just like a really special one, that's why. And then, when you're done with that, friends, you will go to science, where there's a really cool National Geographic video on dolphins, because we are the mighty dolphins. You are a mighty dolphin. Friends, it's hard to believe we've got two days of school left. What? Two days of school, so let's finish, in honor of those dolphins on National Geographic, let's finish Dolphin Strong. So let's talk also a little bit about what it's gonna be like for um, the last, um, our last day. So don't forget that tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow we have our very last uh, PE with Coach Chris and Miss Sarah. And then on Monday, we are going to be having end of year Zoom parties. So you've worked really, really hard. I really, really strongly believe that you need to have something really special to eat, like party food, right? Not too many sweets. We usually just have one sweet when we have parties. But maybe you need to tell your mom, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, don't you think I've been working really, really hard? during our distance learning sessions and that I deserve to have party food. So what might that be? It might be that you think of the favorite food that your grown-ups make for you and maybe you ask them if you can have that for your party food. Don't you think? <laughs> See, mom, what do you think? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Just let your folks know what you need and they'll be happy to do it. They'll be happy to do it because they love you. That's my most important teacher. Your most important teachers, your moms and dads, they'd be really happy to um, make you something special as long as they don't have to go to the store to get the stuff. Right, moms and dads? All right, friends. Happy Thursday. Hope you have a wonderful day. We love and miss you and um, hope to see you soon. Bye.